This is it. The moment of truth. Have we done all that we can do? Are we prepared to put the large decal in place? Now, I got this one on here. And I did not use Solvacet. And so far, I'm going to say I don't need to. It sat down nicely using just Microset. So here's what we're going to do. Here's our big decal. It's been trimmed. We're now going to put it in the water. This thing is going to curl something fearsome. Just like that. I'm going to press it down in here. And it is curling hard. Let's give it five seconds. Time's up. Out of the water, onto the paper. Press it down with my tweezers. So here's where we're at. This decal spans the first section over to where the placard is. So let's get a good healthy dose of, of microset on there. Especially close to the top. I need this microset to get under the decal at the ribs. So I'm going to put a lot of it on here. And I want it at the top because gravity is going to pull it down. It's going to pull it through the ribs <coughs> and down underneath. Okay, here it is. This is the high risk operation. I am going to touch my finger to the water. Okay, my finger's wet. Do not use dry finger or you will find out this will not work. I have now moved the decal. The decal is loose from the paper. It's a big one, and unfortunately, we're going to have to finger it. So now I'm sliding it off the edge, as you can see. And I'm going to slide it. My finger's wet. I'm going to hold it in its position. And I'm going to pull the paper out from underneath it. I have a very short working time before the decal breaks apart. As you can see, it's already curling. And it's curling bad. Let's, let's get some microset on it. Let's see if we can get it sit down. Now let's get it into position. Wet finger. I need it to move over. I need you to move. I don't want to pull it with the tweezers if I can help it because I risk, I run the risk of ripping it. Not the paper, not the decal paper. I run the risk of ripping the um, letters on the paper. Even though it's got decal film on it, I'm just going to keep rubbing it across the ribs. And it's going to move over a little bit at a time. And I'm going to say that's in good good spot. And I even got it fairly level. I don't really got to do too much. Okay, let's start getting the paintbrush. Let's get the micro set underneath this thing. Start brushing it down into position. And as you can see, these little points here, they like to curl. Here's our problem. If I was to let this sit right now as it is, these spans here will get tight and stretch as it dries. When that happens, our go-to thing is Solvacet. But Solvacet is strong. This one happens to have Microsol in it, but Walther Solvacet. Walther Solvacet is stronger solvent than Microsol. So I have some Solvacet if it was if I absolutely need it. But I want to try to do this without using the Solvacet. Because Solvacet literally dissolves everything. That's what it's for. And I do not want to coat my entire decal with Solvacet. Because it will start to dissolve these letters. 
Okay, now I'm going to give this a couple seconds. And the microsol is going to take effect. All right, let's give it a second. <clears throat> Let me tell you about an alternate method of uh, coding decals. I have made decals on an inkjet printer. You can use clear acrylic spray. But here's the problem with that. That acrylic is very resistant to Microsol solve the set anything. So here's what happens. If you coat it flat, the the acrylic coating on the decal, you will not get it to dissolve. And you will see the decal paper. If you coat it glossy, once again, you will see it you will see the coating and you will definitely be able to see your decal. It can have special uses. This placard right here, because it's printed on white decal paper, I don't care if that, I don't need to dissolve the film on this. That kind of stuff, using an acrylic spray, I suggest using gloss when you do that but you need to let this ink cure at least 24 hours if not longer inkjet ink cures over time and it reaches full strength it reaches decent strength in 24 hours and what I do is I sit it behind my big fan which blows on low that does accelerate if you set it in front of it you can get, as it's curing, the wind running across it will accelerate the drying too much and it can literally blow some of the ink off the decal. Ask me how I know. So I found by setting it behind where it pulls air over it, it works better. Okay, the decal is getting soft. Now here's the problem. I've got it stretched across ribs. I need to get the right amount of decal film into the space between the ribs so that the decal itself will set down right over the top of the ribs as if it was you know, sprayed on there. That's very tricky. It is definitely starting to get soft and now it's crooked. And I can see some edge curling. If it is not pulled tight, you will get these little edge curling. You'll get bubbles. And let me tell you, getting bubbles, the old method of, of pricking it with your with your X-Acto knife and then putting the solva set on there, I personally don't like that, and I don't do it unless I absolutely have to. I prefer to smooth it. All right, she's getting soft. So, here's our one plat paper. Get some water on it. Just on the corner, I'm going to let the water soak in down through the paper. It's going to get wet. That's what I want when I get the size that I like. I'm going to go ahead. If the water is spreading through the paper, We're going to do this thing again. I'm going to put the paper on here. I'm going to let it soak. It's going to soak up. Okay, now. Don't let the paper get dry. And don't let the paper pull the decal off the side. Time to start pressing. And if my finger is too dry, it pulls the paper up. Decal is getting soft, and I want to press it. As long as it stays wet, get, I'm, I'm pressing with some force here. As long as my paper stays wet, and I can wet the top of it.
And this procedure may take more than one time. This procedure may also totally wreck everything that you've done. Which, if you're going to make your own decals, always make spares. Always. You cannot be perfect every time you do this. And that's So you need a spare. Now, if I'm getting a really good press here, it's going to start conforming to its surface, which is these ribs. i got to get it over the top of these ribs, and I want to do it without resorting to the solve set You can see under the paper that I'm starting to get a pretty good job going on here. And I didn't do a perfect job on, on so we got two box cars, four of these big ones. I had to slice some edges and solve a set it. On of the four, two of them got sliced and solve a setted, and one of them so far went on perfect. That's so that we're not even at fifty percent yet of getting them right. All right, time to check our work. Remember how we get this off? We got to roll it carefully. If it's picking up the edge, water it. Okay, I already can tell it's not good down here. I can see stretched film. How are we doing now? Better. Better. Oh, there's a little stretch. See, the film is dissolving. You see, do you see the tiny stretched film right here? So I'm going to take a paintbrush. I'm going to smooth that just a bit. And I'm going to smooth along these ribs kind of hard where I've been pressing. And I might, just might, get this on here without resorting to a harsher method. Big decals take patience. You must wait. You must wait for the microsol to soften the paper. Then you must press before it gets too soft. Once it gets too soft, that's not good. And so I'm tr also trying to push out any air that's alongside the rib. And if I do a good job, like on the end here, that ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. It's going to conform to the rib. just the way I want it. I can see up here on the G. And I just nicked the ink. See that little ink spot? Solve set state. The microsol is taking effect and it's starting to make basically the uh, liquid decal film is now dissolved. And, but we did it. We got it. When this when this is fully dry, I can go back and look for stretch spots. And if I have to, I will take a brand new blade, which I marked with some red on here, so I know this is the brand new blade. I will slice, a tiny slice next to the rib, and I will put salt, I will put microsol just a drop 
along the rib. Don't put it everywhere. This thing ain't 100% straight, but now it is too late. If I try to move this, it's gonna wreck it. Oh, let's see if you can see that. If I try to move this, the spray is not, not level. If I try to move it, I'm gonna wreck it. I don't, but this is a practice piece, so it's okay. I wanted it over the ribs, I got it over the ribs, and we are good to go. This will dry up. I'll deal with any bubbling and stretching, and then I'm gonna acrylic it.